There's a lot of things I remember fondly about growing up in the 1980s. Playing footy, riding my bike, my Commodore 64. Ah, good times. Another thing I remember from way back then is hanging baskets. They were everywhere, literally hanging from every patio and pergola you saw. But then they just seemed to disappear. Well, look out, hanging baskets are back. In all seriousness, hanging baskets are a great addition to any garden. Whether you're hanging them from a patio, a basket stand, or even from a branch in your favourite tree, they can add drama, whimsy, and movement to your garden. And they are really easy care, just as long as you get the basics right. Carefully assess the situation where the hanging baskets will be growing, looking at elements such as wind and sun exposure, and then select plant varieties suited to those conditions. For example, in cool, shady zones, ferns would be a perfect choice. Whereas in hot and dry zones, succulents would be ideal. Like with any container grown plant, the potting mix is really important. Always choose a premium mix, one that meets all the Australian standards that incorporates a wetting agent and a controlled release fertiliser. Remember, some plants do best with a specialised potting mix, so keep that in mind too. Gardeners love to see flowers, and in hanging baskets, fuchsias are the perfect plant. They come in a wide range of colours, are long flowering, and are perfect for cool, shady pergolas and patios. If you're looking for a real conversation starter, though, picture plants are a great choice. These carnivorous plants grow beautifully in hanging baskets and are real showstoppers. Like all containerised plants, your hanging baskets will need some maintenance. Apply a liquid fertiliser, wetting agent and seaweed solution throughout the year and freshen up the potting mix from time to time. Some varieties may need repotting into bigger baskets every two to three years. A small amount of regular attention will avoid pest and disease issues and keep your baskets in tip-top condition. So there you have it, another 80 staple that's making a big comeback and is improving gardens everywhere. Now I'm off to find my Commodore 64.